I am Anil Kumar and now we will explore the properties of quadric roots. The question here is, find the equation whose roots are each reciprocal of the roots of x square plus 4x plus 11 equals to 0. As you know, we can write down a quadratic equation as x square minus x1 plus x2, where x1 and x2 are roots of the quadratic equation, plus product of x1 and x2 equals to 0. So that is a way in which we can write down a quadratic function. Now if you compare this with the given quadratic function, you can always say that x1 plus x2, the sum of roots is equals to 4, right? And the product is x1 times x2 is equals to 11, correct? So that comes straight away. This is just to explain you in the other videos. I am not explaining this point, right? Now, the question here is, find the equation whose roots are each reciprocal, right? So we have to find a new equation. So we say equation for reciprocal roots. What does that mean? It really means that the roots of the second equation should be 1 over x1 and 1 over x2, right? That is what it means, correct? So now, let the roots be 1 over x1 and 1 over x2. Now the strategy is to find sum of these and product of these, then write it in the quadratic equation form. That is how we are going to use properties of roots of quadratic equation. I think everything comes together now, right? So let us first find their sum. So what is sum of 1 over x1 plus 1 over x2? So it is, we'll take x1, x2 common, and it becomes x2 plus x1. Now, we know x1 plus x2 is 4, and the product is 11. So we get sum as 4 over 11. How about the product? That is 1 over x1 times 1 over x2. So the product is 1 over x1, x2. We know x1, x2 is 11, so the product is 1 over 11, correct? So at this stage, what we have gone here is, we have got sum of roots, right? And we got product of roots, okay? So we have both the equations. Now, we can write down our quadratic equation in this form, which is, which includes sum and product form, correct? So, we can write our equation as x square minus, what is the sum? 4 over 11, right? So, we have 4 over 11x. And these, we did a mistake here. And the mistake is, this should have been minus 4. So, let me correct it. It's not late either. So, we'll do minus 4 here and minus 4 here. So, when I do minus 4, the sum is minus 4, so it becomes plus 4. Okay, so good time. We just found it. That's great. And then the later half is product of the roots. So, product is 1 over 11. So, let me write 1 over 11 equals to 0, right? It is always good practice to write it as an integer. So, we'll multiply all by 11. We get 11x squared plus 4x plus 1 equals to 0. So that is our answer, right? Let's go back since we had a mistake in this solution. Let's look into it. So the equation given to us is x squared plus 4x plus 11 equals to 0. Now we can always write a quadratic equation as x squared minus sum of roots times x plus product of roots equals to 0. If you compare, we get that the sum of roots should be minus 4, right? Since this is plus 4, this is negative. So sum should be minus 4, product should be 11. Now, the question says that the new equation should have reciprocal roots. That means 1 over x1 and 1 over x2 are the roots of the new equation. Their sum should be equal to, so we'll find their sum, 1 over x1 plus 1 over x2, which gives us, x1 plus x2 divided by x1, x2, which is minus 4 over 11. And the product is, just multiply them, 1 over x1 times 1 over x2. So we get 1 over 11. And substituting these values in our equation, we get our answer. So the answer is 
that the quadratic equation with the reciprocal roots will be 11x square plus 4x plus 1 equals to 0. I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.